Hey, welcome back, and we are finally leaving Nomergon. In case you didn't notice, um, I'm in a much different place than I was when I last left you guys. Um, I was actually all the way over here, and as you can see, that was quite a run. So I just decided to skip all of that because I was going to make it faster anyway. And that's just going to mess up my timing. So I decided against that. So we finally left Nomergon. So if we open the map with M, you can see that's where we were. And here's where we are. So that entire distance there, it's actually not that much. And again, if we were to zoom out a little bit, we were like right there. So, wow is kind of a big place. Yeah. So, we do have a quest here. Normally when you leave your starting area, there's going to be someone with a quest to take you to an inn in the next location. So we are just going to pick up that quest. And I don't think that this is too far of a run. It is not because I can see it right there. So we're just going to run over there real quick. Here we are. We're in Karanos. Now, whenever you discover a new location on your map, you will get a small amount of XP, depending on what level range it's in and what level you are. So right now, we got 45 XP for that. We need 2,800 in total to get to our next level. So that's not a considerable amount, but it is something. So we're going to turn this quest in. Hey, he also gives me 45 XP. And we also have a new exclamation point color. We have a green exclamation point here. A green, a, blah, blah, a green exclamation point is a flight path that we do not have. So I'm going to click on him and we get a flight path. So now whenever we need to come back here, we can just take a flight path from somewhere else on the Eastern Kingdoms. You cannot take one flight path to an, from one continent to another. So like if I wanted to get to Kalimdor, or if I want to get back here from Kalimdor, I could not take a flight path from Kalimdor to here. I would need to get on a boat to get to Eastern Kingdoms, and then I could take a flight path. So let's see what other quests we got. This one, I'm not going to do, ever. No, the drop rate on that is atrocious. And we're walking into an inn. So a couple things with an inn. Uh, the first thing is you always want to log out in an inn. The reason being you get rested XP for doing so. Rested XP, what that is is whenever you log back in, depending on how long you were logged out, you get an amount of rested XP. Um, and that rested XP doubles all XP gains for killing monsters. It does not double XP gains for quest, just killing monsters. Um, and you can always tell when you're in a rested zone, because it's either going to be... Um, oh, it's either going to be... Uh, capital city or an inn that will give you rested XP and when you get that rested XP your level on your little portrait just becomes three Z's because you're rested so we got a quest here honor students every second city you go to so like in this case Karanos um, will give you a quest to take a flight path to the capital city for that area so in this case we take a flight path to Ironforge so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to Ironforge, finally. And so, let me show you how to take a flight path. So you right click on the Flight Master or left click and up pops a map. And you can, no you can't zoom in on them. And there will be, the green one is where you are. And there will be silver ones. There are going to be more silver ones all throughout. Which actually, since I showed you how to get a flight path, I can, uh, uh, bu 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 uh, okay. I'm going to pause here and figure out which one I need to get all of the flight paths because I'm not going to... Yeah. And we're back. I figured out what it's called. Um, I figured out what both of them are called. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use that one. And as you can see, I get a number of additional flight pads. These are not all of the flight pads in the world, or in uh, Eastern Kingdoms. These are just a few of them. 
to get us started. So we're going to fly over to Ironforge, and to do so, you mouse over it, and you click it. Ironforge and Kyranos have no cost, but some of them will have a cost associated with them. Actually, the vast majority of them will have a cost associated with them. So we're going to fly into Ironforge here. Um, flight pads are usually actually faster than epic flying mounts. So there are there is a reason to use these even if you have epic flying. And obviously there's a reason to use them if you don't have epic flying or you don't have flying at all. And we're coming into Ironforge. Ironforge is going to be the first major city we're going to visit. Ironforge is the dwarven capital. Um, as you can tell. It's underground. And there's a giant forge in the middle of the city. There's a lot of lore in Ironforge, but I'm not really going to go into it. Again, if you're looking for WoW lore, I highly recommend Novel 87 for a guide. But I'm not going to go into that here. So we're going to do a couple of things while we're in the big city of Ironforge. There are a number of things you can only do in capital cities. Um, for instance, you can get profession training... And there's something else that I'm going to do that I've needed to do since I created this character. <sighs> okay. Let's turn this in. Now I'm going to get a couple of professions. I'm going to get mining and I'm going to get herbalism. So you can only learn two main professions. In my case, that's going to be mining and herbalism. You can, you can, in addition, learn all four of the secondary professions, which are archaeology, fishing, cooking, and first aid. And so I don't really know where the herbalism trainer is in Ironforge, so I'm going to talk to this guard here. Whenever you're in a major city, you can talk to one of the guards. If they have this little scroll on them, you can ask them for directions. So I am looking for profession trainer for herbalism. And goodbye. And now you can see there's a second gold arrow pointing me to what I just asked him for. Or you can open up the map and see the little flag. Again, the map is with M. And we're walking and we're walking and we're walking and we're walking. Which gold do I have? I have 11 silver. Oh, I haven't, I haven't equipped these. I need to equip those. Now I actually have gloves. Cool. Uh, you're an herbalism trainer. And train. Getting levels in professions will cost gold. Or in that case, copper. So, it's not free. But usually when you're at the correct level, it's a trivial amount. And there's one other thing that I want to do. And I actually know where it's located. So I'm just going to run over there. Um, we can visit the auction house if we've so desired. I'm not going to. Because I don't really have anything to sell on the auction house right now. I just have uh, vendor trash and uh, soulbound stuff. So, not really any reason to. I will, however, visit a vendor and sell stuff to them to free up bag space. Because bag space is at a premium right now. Uh, I think the largest bag in game, largest standard bag rather, is 32 slots. And right now I have my backpack, which is unchangeable. It's baseline 16, but if you have an authenticator, it goes up to 20 slots. And you cannot change your backpack. Your backpack is your backpack. And then I currently have two six-slot bags for a total of 20 plus 12, 32 slots. So I'm here at the barber. This is what I want to do since I created this character because some hairstyles are limited in character creation, you actually have to visit the barber to get certain hairstyles. So I'm going to click on this chair. And I'm going to plop in. Hi, Pepe. So you can change a couple of things here. You cannot change your skin color. And you cannot change... Actually, I think that's the only thing you can't change is your skin color. So I'm going to switch my hairstyle. To the proper one. There we go. And again, everything has a cost associated with it. Since it scales with level... It's going to be, it's not um, an insignificant amount, but it is a small enough amount where you can change it a couple of times without worrying about breaking the bank. And we're going to keep that. 
Cool. And you get an achievement for doing that for the first time. Some achievements like that are kind of uh, trivial. There are other achievements that are a lot more difficult. So we're going to head back to the Flight Master and get back to questing. So I will see you when I get back to Karanos. And we're back. All right. So now I'm going to turn in this quest, and I think there's a quest over here that I can pick up. Yep. Let's see. Is this a good quest? Yeah, it's a decent quest. All right. I remember now that I said I was going to sell in Ironforge, but I'm no longer in Ironforge, so I'm going to sell in Karanos. Again, you should sell as often as possible just to keep bank space free. This guy will, sell, will buy my stuff. Uh, if you have the Cell Junk add-on, this is real easy. If you don't have the Cell Junk add-on, you'll just have to go through your entire inventory. I'm just going to sell everything except for my Hearthstone now. Hearthstones are important. I'm actually going to set my Hearthstone here. I was going to set it to Iron Forge, but I forgot. So, Hearthstone is a teleport to a location that you have set. It can be set to any inn in the game, including this one. So, I'm going to talk to Innkeeper Belm. And make this in my home. And accept. And now if I were to use my hearthstone, it would return me right here. I highly recommend setting your hearthstone to either Orgrimmar if you're Horde. Or Stormwind if you're Alliance. Uh, just because that makes your life a lot easier in the future. So I think that that is going to be all for this video. And I will see you later.